Hello, I'm Todd Tracy with the Tracy Law Firm in Dallas, Texas, here with another Todd Talk. Today I want to speak with you about rollovers and roof crush and the kinds of injuries that we sometimes see. Now, typically in the cases that I handle and a roof structure has performed as poorly as the roof that you see behind me, I typically see catastrophic brain injury or I see paralyzing injuries because the cervical spine literally blows apart. However, there are some cases where the spinal cord injury is not severe enough to actually cause a paralyzing injury, but the surgeons are able to put our clients back together again, but they then have an injury known as incontinence. Many of us, <laughs> um, or all of us in fact, never want to have to wear a diaper again. But if you have damaged your spinal cord and you are not paralyzed, you can have neurological injuries that can actually cause you to be incontinent and not know when or where you're going to have to go to the restroom. And many of my uh, clients have to wear a diaper because they have suffered a spinal cord injury because the roof crushed down on their spine caused an injury to their spine, but did not cause a paralyzing injury. I want you to think about the indignity of this for a moment. Everyone's goal in life is to get through diapers as quickly as possible. Can you imagine in your golden years having to have to use a, a diaper because you were involved in a rollover? It is one of the most horrific injuries because it takes away your dignity and it takes away your freedom and it takes away your independence. If you or a loved one have been involved in a rollover accident, even if you did not suffer a paralyzing injury, but you have suffered the indignity of an of a injury that has left you incontinent, I hope you will contact a qualified law firm and we would welcome an opportunity to speak with you at the Tracy firm. Thank you.